Hi everybody, this is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel. I thank you so much for stopping by and as always, I send you love. I got a question, um, I guess last week, um, about this topic and I made a video already about it, but I kind of wanted to do it over again. Um, so here I am and it's about um, sexual urges um, and this pertains to your spiritual growth um, although I'm going to explain the concept behind desire sexual desire uh, based upon man's idea uh, we have been um, taught to believe that either sex is something great or something bad and depending on your own experiences in life that's how you will associate with it um, for myself someone who has been sexually abused sex has never been anything that I have really cared about um, it has been a way to control me um, in a way to rob me of my own life and um, I have also used it as a way to make myself feel loved which you know I we tend to do things um, when we are in pain we tend to do things we act out choose things that aren't necessarily good for us um, to cover up what we are not facing if we aren't facing our own pain we are going to create more pain by choosing um, um, wrong experiences in life and I'm not saying I was promiscuous I was not I was still very wise and selective with um, who I was and I have had a very limited sexual experience in my lifetime um, but in those relationships I would still conform to a very sexual person if you will because I, I, I have been taught that sex was um, how you got things and it wasn't necessarily um, how I wanted it to be but I was taught that um, and so I took in negative energy um, as a result of negative experiences in my life um, that pertain to sex um, and um, but anyway so sex can be a good thing and a bad thing depending on where you are and um, we all get those sexual urges inside there is a sexual energy that does serve its purpose um, in a spiritual concept it is it is a part of our growth as well uh, but sexual energy is there for the um, the man experience for um, that sexual pleasure but when you use it for your your spiritual experience it's completely different it helps raise your consciousness um, but early on in your <laughs> awakening process you're going to have a, a process of learning to stabilize your energy but even in the learning to stabilize your your sexual energy the energy the sexual energy will become so intense that you'll probably have a good period of your awakening process where you have the need to really procreate <laughs> in whatever way and fashion that you see fit in your um, lifetime I'm not going to go into detail use your own imagination for that um, it is a process your sexual energy will rise when you are waking up 
you will become more sexual. You will um, feel the need to, um, like I said, take care of it. Um, that is the process. Now, when you are trying to maintain this uh, for a greater purpose, because you want to really focus and give your life to God, I want you to understand something. God created us to be sexual beings. We do have um, our sex energy for a purpose. And yes, God appreciates um, you wanting to be of service and um, um, seeking abstinence as a result. If that is your choice, you are going to receive something as a result of your selflessness. Every time that you give up something, when you sacrifice yourself a desire, a need for something far greater than yourself, you are going to receive. Now, when you really understand why you're doing it and what the true meaning behind abstinence is, you're going to receive far beyond even that. So I'm going to make a separate video about the importance of your abstinence during your spiritual awakening. Um, so please come back to that. But this one, I'm going to stick with this right now and keep it kind of simple. That um, if you are choosing to abstain, make sure that you are removing guilt. So if you have such a strong energy where you feel, oh my gosh, I have to really take care of this need because it is so intense and I can't function now, you need to give yourself compassion. The energy is going to get intense. I've been there. And I've also been the person who had to really, you know, I, I went with it. When you can learn to trust and feel um, and just go with the flow that if your heart is really telling you hey I got to release this 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 energy that is just building and building then do it you are flowing with the process in creation um, and I'm not saying having children in creation um, um, but when you're always thinking I really shouldn't do this because I'm choosing service. You're building guilt in your heart. You're building up resentment in your heart. If you can still abstain by removing your negative emotion, that's great. Continue to do so. But if you can't abstain and you're doing it and you're having guilt as well because you're acting on a desire, you're again going to build up some more guilt, some more resentment. But if you can just allow it to flow and be that this is part of your process, do that as well. The important part of all of this is removing any negative thought and any negative emotion that is associated with wherever you are in your process. If you choose abstinence, do it for its greatest purpose by removing the thought, negative thoughts and negative emotions. If you choose to act on those desires, do so for its greatest purpose and remove the negative thoughts and negative emotions associated with it. And the greatest outcome will always come to you. And having said that, you are going to get to a point where sex or that sexual energy has subdued because you have created balance. If you aren't there yet, if your sexual energy is so high, you have a ways to go. Enjoy the ride. You, we, ha we have to learn to enjoy wherever we are as best as we can throughout our process. It makes the process a whole lot greater. Um, and so 
The purpose, though, is to trust yourself in where you are. And the, the surge in sexual energy is part of the process, as well as the drop in sexual energy will be a part of the process. So it, whenever it gets to that level of balance, you're going to have a time when you don't really want to have sex. If you're having a difficult time um, with your the the spike in sexual energy and not releasing it, you're going to have a difficult time when it goes in the opposite direction because then you're going to feel like there's something's wrong with you. Well, there's something wrong with me, and I can't, you know, I can't perform. I can't give love to this individual that they need, and you're going to beat yourself up. It has nothing to do with that. There is a time. Because the energy has now been transferred to a separate part of the process. Um, it's just allowing things to be the way that they are. Having compassion for where you are and how you are feeling. And using your own intuition as to what is necessary for this time and you will get through it so much easier um, so come back and I will do my best to get this video um, um, within a day or two after posting this one um, and I apologize for such a, a lengthy delay in uploading this video from the time that I have received the question um, just know that I, I have a lot that I'm trying to do here and has nothing to do with um, um, not caring because I do truly care about every individual who sends me a message um, and every message that I get from God I do my best to give to you all so that you can get through your process much quicker so I hope that this has really helped you um, understand sexual energy um, and how you are feeling currently. I thank you so much for the question and I always welcome questions and um, I may not get to every single question. Um, it's one I will answer questions that really um, I have understanding about um, for the most part it has nothing to do with uh, I'm going to choose this person and, and that one. It's just if I don't understand it, I can't give you a proper um, understanding about it as well, or a solution. Um, but I welcome all questions or comments, um, and I'm, I'm grateful for each and every one of you. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.